Welcome to sipping the paint water once in a while. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I fill gaps on 3D prints that come out and don't fit together quite as nicely as you'd like. I'm going to go over some of the techniques that I use personally just to fill the gaps on this specific model here. If you have a technique or you know of a better product or something that I should look into, please leave that in the comments below. I'd love to have a look. Now, let's get straight into how the do we fill these gaps. So, once you've glued the parts together, the best thing to do is start to sand. Next, we're going to take a toothpick and we're going to take the resin that we used to print the model with, give that a good solid shake up and remove the cap. There will be some residue left in the cap and this is what we're going to use to fill the gaps. One thing to take note of is that I have left the dust from the sanding in the gap. This is because this resin will fill in between this and turn that into a solid resin once we cure it. Be extremely careful not to get any of this resin on your skin. This is one of the most important things. Probably best to wear a set of gloves. You can get away with just holding the end of the toothpick. Just make sure it doesn't get on your skin. Carefully run that resin all over the gap. Make sure that it fills the crack up and send that to your UV curing light. Once that comes out and it's cured, you want to give it another sand again. This time paying more attention towards the gap and making sure that it's super flush and then I'm gonna fill it again. This is a slightly longer method of doing this, but it is a really foolproof and easy way of filling a gap. Make sure that you cure each layer of resin that you, lay, you place down. If you fill the gap with too much resin and try to cure it, what will happen is you'll cure just a skin over the top of the resin and the resin inside the gap will not be cured enough. This is why I do this in layers. And here you can see the end result of filling and sanding and filling and sanding. It's pretty smooth. The next way I'm going to show you how to fill gaps is with milliput. I'm not sure if you can find this all over the world, but it is freely available in most places that sell hobby gear in the UK. Basically, it's an epoxy based putty. You mix two parts together and it's nice and soft, almost like a Play-Doh, and then it cures to a nice hard gap filling substance or sculpting substance or whatever you want to use it for. I'm going to take isopropyl alcohol and I'm going to take a bottle cap from a two liter Coke bottle and I'm going to cut a little bit of this milliput into a couple of pieces and I'm going to stick it into the isopropyl. What this is going to do is it's going to give a carrier for this product. And I'm going to roll out a thin, tiny little worm, which I'm going to use to start filling in the gaps. This stuff sticks to your fingers. So probably best to make sure you wash your fingers or your hands after this but it also sticks to your fingers well enough to be annoying enough that it doesn't stick to the model as well green stuff tends to stick a little bit better but what i find to make this work a little bit easier for you is to have a little cup of water next to you or even dip your finger into the alcohol that you've mixed with your other milliput in the bottle cap and carefully squish and squeeze and prod and poke I use a silicon tool, I use my scalpel, I use my fingers, I use everything that I can find close to me to make sure that the milliput goes into the crack and covers the holes nice and well. You also want to be careful of the textures. If there's textures on your model, you want to try to make sure that you almost sculpt those textures back in over the crack, otherwise the crack will be a lot more noticeable. Using milliput mixed with alcohol is one of the greatest ways to take advantage of the fast evaporation of alcohol. So by giving it a carrier that evaporates a lot quicker, this is gonna give you a faster drying experience as well as help you to fill the milliput into creases. It flows a lot easier like this. I'm gonna roll out worms and I'm gonna use little bits from my alcohol mix and I'm gonna do a mixture of both of these things with this milliput. Little pieces of my fingers pressed into the space. I'm gonna rub it in. Um, ideally the reason why I use a worm like this is just because it's easy to have on hand and it's easy to just push around the model but as you can see it is too much for the area and you can tell that it's sticking to my fingers and I'm struggling to keep it stuck against the model but again using water using alcohol whatever is easiest and available to you you can use that to help press it into place and sort of lubricate your fingers from the stuff. I tend to dip my silicon tip into the alcohol mix that I'd made and I use that to help smooth things off. I take the knife and I sort of cut bits and pieces of it off, almost sculpting it but not sculpting it, just kind of pressing it into place. I use my fingers then to smooth things out and make sure that the textures and everything are still nice and solid and little bits and pieces that are left over I will take those and press them into place into other gaps that I find need to be filled up. 
and this stuff sort of takes a couple of hours to dry i would say the best thing is to leave it overnight and then you know that it's good and solidly dry really thin little gaps um something that you could probably use resin for to fill i will use the alcohol and milliput mix because it flows very nicely into those gaps when I sliced this Loki piece, I ended up placing a hole somewhere by mistake and I didn't realize it was there, but it printed like that. I'm gonna have to fill that up and I'm gonna use the milliput as well for this. I would say green stuff probably would be better for this specific thing, but as I had a whole load of milliput already mixed up, I wasn't gonna waste what I had mixed up. Placing it into the hole, I press it in nice and tight to make sure that it sticks really well. And then I dip my knife into the alcohol mix and I slowly carve and I use my finger to rub and carve and just shape out the little piece that was sort of cut away by this hole being there. This is where that milliput mix comes really handy because filling the gap around his waist and around the coat area and stuff, it's a very small gap and it would take ages to fill this with resin. Using this little mixture, I can just fill in the gaps and rub it in and make sure that it dries. It dries a little bit while you're working with it so you can add more over the top as you go but it really works super easy. Just taking my time, making sure that I get all the gaps that need to be got and filling in everywhere where there is a gap. Where these two parts meet, I actually kind of want a slight gap just to add a little bit more detail to the sculpt, but I don't want it to be too predominant that it looks like two parts were stuck together. So I'm not using it too thickly and I'm not trying to make sure that it's super smooth between the two parts. I'm just trying to fill the gap just enough so that it doesn't look like a crevasse on the side of my model. I use my finger a lot, I use the tool a lot, I use whatever the heck I can just to try get the stuff to go in place. Use what you have available to you. If you don't have a silicon tool, use whatever you can. I use my fingers, I use everything. If I could, I'd use my feet, but that might be a bit awkward for a video. Hopefully, you figured out something in that video you never knew before, and if you didn't figure it out, I'm sorry, I can't help you anymore. Other than that, if you like the video, give it a like. If you don't want to miss out on more videos in the future, consider subscribing. Don't forget, there is Patreon, link in the description. Join the best community of painters there ever was on the internet. Most importantly, if you didn't like it, click the dislike button and f*** off. That's got to be the end of that recording, surely.